Thou. All right. My name is Stephen Crawford. I have been an Herbalife member now for, in May, will be three years. And before I uh, actually signed up for Herbalife and before I got started, I was an ex um, college athlete and a professional athlete that had found his way back into retail sales. So I pretty much felt like, you know, I, all these years of college and everything was a, a waste. And, um, you know, I was pretty much heading down the wrong path and I knew there was something else out there for me. And um, I decided one day I'm from Southeast Wisconsin and I decided one day one of my friends to pack up everything that I had and moved across the country to California. And um, a lot of people think that that's crazy. But for me, I just took a chance on myself and just decided to le take a leap of faith and, and just to see what happened. Um, a few months into the move, everything was going really downhill and I almost was a couple of weeks from becoming homeless. And um, I was in the library one day printing out my resume to get a desk job that I never wanted to do, but I had a degree, so I was, that's what I was gonna do. So um, in the library is where I met my sponsor. My sponsor, Super Mario, face to face me when I was at my very, very lowest point. Um, three years later, um, you know, over $5,000 a month for the last year and a half. Um, and the lifestyle that's been, that we've been able to create is something amazing. Now, what we call what I just did is a package story. And being that we're all supervisors and we're in this crazy momentum and we have a ton of people who are, you know, on stage speaking, whether you're going up for active supervisor, active world team, world team, whatever it is, we're getting the microphone a lot more as supervisors. And then some of us are getting asked to speak and have roles. Shout out to my downline, Kylie and Orlando and Brittany, all going to be on stage in the next two weekends in their perspective. STS is exciting. But what we want to practice and what Super wants us to, to do is really work on a package story. You, you talk about you know who you are, where you were before you were in Herbalife, where it found you, um, your uh, result, you know, you always want to kind of throw your result in there. And then you also want to say what it means to you. Find out those few points, make it like a, a nice, sometimes it's like a minute, 30 seconds, a minute, 45 seconds. You shouldn't really go on rambling um, as far as your story goes. It's nice and sweet. It's packaged. So with that being said, you guys heard my short, short story. Um, we have... I believe two other people or three other tab team members on the call and super would like for them to go ahead and share their uh, short package story, not your 30 second story, but your, you know, your sm short package story. And then we are going to have other people practice stories today. That's going to be the first part of the call. So I don't know if, if Terrence, I will never call you hero. I don't know if you want to go. Um, <laughs> Don't ever play yourself. Now, before I get it back, you guys doing? Um, my name is Terrence Arkless. Um, been a member of the business now for over three years. Uh, actually, gotten started in the business. I've known Super Mario since we were kids. Hadn't seen him for a year or so. I saw him. He was shredded up. You know, myself and my fiance uh, Nakia Roots. Uh, we went to a Sunday workout. You know, he told me what he was doing. He was drinking shakes. Of course, I asked him what he was doing. I didn't believe him at all. Took us a year to finally get started, but even before we got started, we signed up like seven months before we got started. And I signed up just because I kept my word to Super Mario. I told him that I was going to sign up. It was a slip of the tongue, but I told him I was going to do it. We signed up in September. Didn't order anything until April. I didn't believe the results were real. So we ordered everything. The kid, like she tells her story, she immediately felt the difference. Um, I think my first month lost seven pounds, went on in the first three months to lose 40 pounds. And what happened after that, I was completely in the business. What happened after that, the first month of doing the business made an additional $2,100. Uh, what that meant was that I didn't have to take on the second job at the VA that I was currently looking at. So um, now fast forward a little bit over two and a half years of doing the business. Um, we just hit our first cut of millionaire team last month. Definitely amazing. Um, right around $10,000 last month, uh, profited from Herbalife from the house. It's absolutely amazing. And what that means is that we were able to move out of the location that we lived in. Our home had been broken into a couple times into a completely different area that's really, really nice. Uh, that you're going to better schools and everything. So, 
Can hey. you guys hear me? Am I still on? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Cool. So that's uh, that's my package story right there. And of course, like Stephen was talking about, there are different stories that you can tell. You can do your short, like elevator speech, they say. Basically, when you get on an elevator, tell somebody key points to get them interested, to get their contact. That's like the, the short story right there. Um, and I do have a couple other ones or whatever. You don't always have to have income stories if you don't have them. Um, you can just tell your result story and how you feel and what it's done for your life or whatever. But uh, we do have All Day on the line, too. And we have Nakia on the line also. And I saw Crystal on the line, too. So uh, we got others to go. So wherever you want to go. I didn't see Kenny and Sarah. Are they on? Yeah, yeah. Great habits. All right, perfect. I'll go. Can you guys see me all right? Yeah, hold on. There we go. Uh, Crawford, can you hear me? Thumbs up? Yep, you hear you. All right, perfect. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Marcus Day. I've been an Herbalife member for three years and 11 months. And like a lot of you guys, I actually started out as a client on a product. My twin brother came to my apartment. He literally, exact words, told me that I was fat. Uh, I looked in the mirror, and I was like, yo, where did my abs go? So I said, he said, yo, I lost 10 pounds in eight days. I said, all right, man, I'll do that. Being a twin and being competitive, I had to trust him. I trusted and believed him. I started my nutrition program. I lost 10 pounds in seven days. It fired me up to keep going. 11 weeks, I lost 27 pounds of weak sauce. I went from nothing to something. And let me tell you guys, um, getting a six-pack changed my life. Just showing my results and helping a couple people, I started to realize that there kind of was an income opportunity. There was an opportunity to help people, and I've always wanted to help people. So I started taking on this business. I went full-time April 2014. Uh, my wife and I, we hit Global Expansion Team. We opened our own nutrition club. Last month, we made just over $4,000. It's been an amazing ride. Looking forward to doing more. All right. So you can keep it short. You can keep it simple. You don't have to keep it emotional. Right? The real reason Super Run is, wanted us to, to get on here and do these package stories is because when people have hit these cuts and when people have hit these levels in the marketing plan and they get that mic, they get to preaching. Right? And the real reason why we don't want to preach. Can you guys hear me? Everybody froze. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, we can hear you. All right, cool. The real reason why we don't want to preach and have these very, very long um, stories is, like, say this past weekend, our guest speaker didn't get in to get on the stage till about 3.20. And if he's going to get an hour, that's going to crack us over 4, 4 p.m. And nobody wants to be there completely the entire day if it's not necessary. So we really want to just respect the time of everybody that has to speak everybody that's going to be uh, presenting, and, and just do your packet story. Don't make it about you. Don't, Don't get into a me, me, me thing, but just really say your story, say how it made you feel, and then keep it pushing. Uh, so I'd love to love to hear from one of the ladies, either either uh, Nakia or, or Crystal, go ahead and take it over I'll, and share your I'll story. Go. Can you guys hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Nakia. I've been a part of this amazing company for um, a little over three years alongside my fiance, Terrence. And before um, starting my nutrition plan, I was extremely low energy and I didn't like what I was seeing in the mirror. Um, I started to uh, just basically give up and, and call it a part of the aging process. But um, as he said, it took us a whole year to start. And day one, I had amazing energy results. I was down 20 pounds of fat in three months. I lost eight inches off my waist and I felt amazing. And so with um, his uh, great documentation of his results, we shared with uh, friends and coworkers and we were able to make $2,100 um, the first month of the business. And uh, now we're currently get team and it's been amazing. What it means for me is that um, I no longer have to work overtime in a prison. Um, I have a part-time income uh, of 10,000, like he said last month, and it's helping others, which is something that I love doing and something that I enjoy doing. So thank you, Herbalife. And thank you, Roots. 
Can I share something? Oh, never mind. Oh, that's all oh, you need for you. Perfect team. Me? I don't know who that is, so yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll go after you. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Crystal McKinley. I've been an Herbalife member for three years. Before Herbalife, I was an infomercial queen. They came on TV and said I was going to lose weight. I tried it and failed miserably. And um, I was introduced to the uh, products by my husband who joined um, on his, with his brother to lose weight. And I didn't think that either of them uh, lost weight because of the products. I thought they lost weight because they were men. So I actually started my products to prove them wrong. And I did all the products the wrong way. And 90 little days later, I lost a lot of weight. I lost 60 pounds, gained energy, felt better. And I immediately decided that sharing the products with other people was the way to go. So I'm, uh, now my husband and I are a global expansion team. We have a nutrition club, and I enjoy getting other people healthy. I love being accountability partners to them and have them be accountable, accountable to my actions as well. Um, last month, I personally, I do this part-time around my full-time career, and last month I made $2,000 in retail sales, and I'm really excited that I was able to do that during my business working hours. So it's a really exciting time for me to be able to do what I love for myself and share it with my coworkers. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Your turn, Sarah. Make great habits. Okay. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Sarah. I've been a Herbalife member for the past two years and four months. Um, before Herbalife, I was a broke college student working at a restaurant. I served there for five years. I started Herbalife to lose 10 pounds, lost 15 pounds my first 30 days, and I was really super excited about that. My friends and family were asking me what I was doing. I started the business end of Herbalife, and uh, my first month in the business with Kenny, we made an extra $1,000, and that was really exciting for us because we just bought a, a house. The bills were stacking up. Uh, we were able to pay some of our bills. We seen the opportunity, so we decided to pursue it full time, open up a nutrition club, um, current global expansion team members. Last month, we made a little over $10,000. And that means a whole lot to us because we get to keep all the bills on at the club, all, all electricity, light, everything paid at the house. Um, and we get to help people feel amazing while making amazing income, too. So you can make money doing anything. It feels good to help people, though, feel their best and make money at the same time. Thank you. There we go. Good pack of story. We're going to hear from Kenneth. Hello, everybody. This is Kenneth. Before I started Herbalife, I was a uh, full-time barber uh, with my barber career. And I was going to the gym trying to lose some weight and get ready for pool parties like some of you guys are right now. And, um, and I wasn't getting the results I wanted. I was eating uh, protein-style burgers and, and El Pollo Loco full of ranch and all kinds of other stuff. <clears throat> and I thought it was uh, the opposite of 80% fitness and 20% nutrition. I started going to a workout I was invited to by with uh, Terrence, uh, the hero. <laughs> uh, and um, I was going there, and he, he told me uh, that they do Herbalife. And then he wasn't on the product yet, but he got on the products and ended up losing 40 pounds. So I didn't think it was going to work. So I ended up being about six months behind when I got started. Sarah wanted to lose 10 pounds because she was inspired by all the results, the results she was seeing on Instagram. And just from that, I couldn't sleep because she would bug me all night. And so I finally got started just to, so I can be able to sleep. And I ended up losing 35 pounds in, in about two months. And I feel amazing. I honestly thank God that Sarah only wanted to lose 10 pounds and ended up losing 15 pounds. So from there on, uh, our first month, we were able to hit the uh, supervisor position in the marketing plan, which is 50%. And me and Sarah are seeing that we can make an extra income because uh, we had bills stacking up. And uh, the first month, we made $1,000, which was really cool because at night, me and Sarah would sit around and think about what could we do? What kind of business could we do together? And Herbalife came into our life to be able to do something together. And we've seen that it was a business we could run with that brought us income instantly. And uh, so now on fast forward two years and four months later, now we make uh, a little over $10,000 this last month, opened up a nutrition club and a lot of people are getting crazy results. It's amazing. I get to see like the actions and people grow through every month and every day, quit their jobs and be able to spend more time with their kids. And it's like really, it's, it's, it's something incredible. Like uh, Nikki online, like she has cool results. And I think she wants to share her story She's really quick. practicing. She's been practicing. You gotta do so. Hold on. Skirt, 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 ski, skirt, 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 skirt. Slow down, real, real quick. We gotta, we gotta just 
all the tab team has now shared their stories. We want to, before we start opening the line up for people to start sharing their stories, we want to just make sure we go over the, what we want to, you all to make sure that you're covered. And, and we want to make sure that everybody knows this. We want to make sure that you're hitting these key points. Like, I think uh, Terrence might have hit every single like point that you're supposed to hit, but there's like 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 all, all they said. You can have the short story like all day gave you. You can have the longer story like uh, like maybe um, like like Kenny gave you the the whole story, um, but you have to make sure that you stay on course. If you find yourself trying to give a nugget or try, that's not the time to to start to give nuggets or start to uh, give inspiration. I'll tell you guys, I've been waiting like a whole long, a, a very long time to get on stage and like share nuggets. You're going to get opportunities as you progress in this business. But when you share your story, that's not the time to start to inspire. Uh, uh, people are going to be inspired by your actual story. You don't need to like preach at people. They just want to know what you did. They want to know what you did before you uh, did Herbalife. They want to know, um, how Herbalife found you, how you got started in the business. They want to know how you're doing now, and they want to know what it means to you. That's it. Story, bean, bow, boom. Every, yeah, Crystal, yours. No, yours was, was, was okay. I don't think nobody really dragged on. I thought Kenny was going to get the preaching to us for a second, but he, he, cut, he cut it off. But it was good. Like, everybody had a, a, a good story. But now what we're going to do is give the opportunity for others to, um, to, to share their story, especially those who are – moving and cutting you're going to be getting asked to do panels you're going to be getting asked to, to speak on stage you're going to be getting past their microphone so we want to make sure you practice your story here so you're comfortable when you get on stage so you know what you're going to say and um so whoever is excited to share their story you can unmute yourself freely and we're going to get a few shares hey steven it's castro what up how you doing so, uh, my name is uh, Jonathan Castro, current world team member. I've uh, been in the business for 11 months, 28 days today. Uh, prior to Herbalife, still currently uh, active duty soldier, 13 years. My wife uh, found the Herbalife opportunity 30 days prior to, to myself. She lost, she got on the product, was a VIP member, uh, lost three inches. That inspired me. Uh, she invited me down to Power Club where I was introduced to yourself and Hero and Super Mario, some big buff dudes. Um, I was inspired by uh, just the love, the community, got on the plan. Uh, I lost 10, in 10 pounds on my first month. And I, uh, oh, somebody just hate when they do that. But uh, yeah, so I lost 10 pounds my first month. Went to May SCS. I heard Garen speak, uh, was super inspired. Uh, my first, the first month on the business, my wife made about $150. I jumped on board. I told her I was going to support her 100%. Uh, the following month, we made uh, $300 part-time. Uh, and just last month, uh, in our 11th month in the business, we hit uh, a little over $3,000. And what that meant to us was that my wife, uh, after going to school, getting two different uh, certifications and degrees, is able to no longer work, and we are doing the business uh, full time around uh, my full time career as well. So, Boom. thank y'all. Appreciate you. Anybody else excited? That was a good one, uh, uh, Castro. Um, I, you got right to the point, told your income, told the progression. So, that's a good story. Anybody else excited to share theirs? Hello? Yes. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, Caitlin, current active world team, been in the business for 18 months now. Uh, found Herbalife through my boyfriend, Ruben Valadez, who said no to Super Mario for like two and a half years, but jumped on the nutrition plan, lost 10 pounds of fat my first month. Uh, now I'm up six pounds in lean muscle. 18 months later, we are now, uh, we just hit active world team and uh, we're in the second cut of GET, global expansion team. And last month we made an extra $2,300. And um, what that means to us is we get to pay off our bills, get to put gas in the car, um, help out my mom. And, um, and yeah, I'm super thankful for Herbalife. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a nice, quick story. Uh, real quick, I want to just uh, a few 
things. Uh, it's not nothing wrong with your story, Katie. That was a good story. Um, but it's something I remember to tell you guys, things to avoid. Um, whenever you're giving your story, you have to know your audience. So know that you're going to be speaking to people who have absolutely no idea what herb life is. You're going to be in a room full of people who are, this is who you're inspiring. You're not telling your story to inspire the person who knows, you know, all the acronyms and the person who knows the marketing plan. You're looking to inspire somebody who's down for their first time. So you want to watch the acronym. So if you say like a STS or you say anything like that, and to where people are not going to know if you mention somebody's specific name, like say like a Super Mario or Garen Jones, you want to eliminate those type of things for your story. Because if you're out in the public and you say, yeah, I met Garen Jones, they're going to be like, who? So you want to act, you want to always know who your audience is. And most of the time your audience is going to be somebody who's just hearing about the opportunity for the first time. So that's for everybody um, just to make sure uh, you're monitoring your story. All right, we'll do a few more. Yo, yo, yo. What up? What up? Uh, what's going on, everybody? Um, Ellen Musa, current pen at World Team. Uh, been doing this amazing business for going on 23 months now. And um, before Herbalife, I was unemployed, just like I got fired from my job. I was working at Lowe's, putting together barbecue grills. Didn't really make a lot of money doing that. So I went to this free workout my friend was doing and kind of find out it was a hero camp. And I put it on my Instagram, had about four people hit me up, asking me about Herbalife. I was like, nah, I don't do that. That's my friend. So when I hit her up, told her about it, you know, she presented me the opportunity, was able to make $500 my first two days. And after that, I was like, okay, what else? What else? And after that, I just was so motivated because I was unemployed $500 in two days when I couldn't even make $500 in two weeks. Definitely caught my attention. So now, fast forward 22 months later, uh, I was make, able to make $4,300 last month and had my highest month in the business. And I will never, ever punch a clock again. And that's why I love her place. Oh, perfect story. That was a good story. And also one thing she did, she was energized when she told her story because we're giving people the opportunity. So you want to make, and this is something I'll talk about in a second when we're done, but make what you do very attractive and you have to be energized about what you do. So I appreciate that most. Uh, anybody else excited to share their story? Or practice? Or practice. All right, I'll practice. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. I hate doing this stuff, but I'm going to practice this. Nope, nope, okay. nope, 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 nope. We want to we want to watch our language. Watch our language. You don't hate anything. You love the fact that you get the opportunity to practice your story. So let's okay. on my say you're good. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. I'm Nikki. Um, I'm a mom of two. Before Herbalife, um, I was working at Amazon full time, overtime. Uh, I felt like I was in prison. Um, okay. Uh, on my nutrition plan, I found my sponsor on Instagram. She was always working out, posting workout videos, and I wanted to lose weight. Um, I just had my daughter, so. On my nutrition plan, I lost 54 pounds. Um, I have amazing energy every single day. I feel good. Last month was my best month in the business. I made $2,300 just retail. I matched my income at my full-time warehouse job plus extra. So that means to me that I was able to quit my warehouse job. So now I'm able to create my own schedule every single day and do what I love, just help people teaching them exactly what I did, um, getting healthy and in shape. So, yeah, thanks. Good. That's, a, uh, that's, a, that's not a bad story. I can tell you were thinking at the beginning, but as things flowed, it flowed. You just find your flow. Find those points. Just hit on those key points. Talk about why you decided to do Herbalife, what happened when you decided to do it, and what you did when you first started, and boom – what it means to you now. It's as simple as that. It don't have to be, you know, a, a long drawn out speech. So that's a good one. Okay. All right. Sure. Go ahead. All right. Muncha Baker. I've uh, been in the business 13 months. Um, before the business, I was already a pretty in shape guy. Um, I saw that there was a good way to take your fitness level to the next level. Everybody already thought, I, mean, I already thought that I was the best that it got. But I saw that that wasn't what it was. 
Um, I was always tired. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of energy, but I was always tired and fatigued once I settled down. Um, so I started Herbalife, got on my nutrition plan, and I got amazing results. Um, I didn't take it slow and get result by result. I just started doing all kinds of products and got um, all kinds of results, like uh, my energy levels through the roof. Um, and the best part is I just feel amazing. I get to, um, you know, emulate, uh, emulate the people that came before me. I get to, you know, help other people. For Herbalife, like, I didn't really have a vision. I didn't really have direction on what I wanted with my life. You know, I didn't really have that guidance. But um, the biggest thing for me in Herbalife is the, the leadership, you know, the vision that's casted from the people that, you know, are very, are doing, you know, what they love in the business. Um, current Pan, sorry, Current Pan World Team. And uh, I'm just loving it. I'm just loving the family. I'm just loving the environment and the growth that I get to, you know, get to uh, constantly get every day from being better, becoming better, taking more products and just implement that on people. You got something to say all, all day? I was, I was going to ask what your story was and what your story was. Uh, I don't know if it was health results. I don't know if it was business. I don't know, you know, like you got to have an intention of what your story is and what you're trying to convey to your audience. And so, uh, Montreal, I, I would suggest for you as you work on this and as you do your story more is figure out what you want to say specifically and have, have specifics with your results, have specifics with, with what you're trying to say, okay? Good job, appreciate it. Yeah, that was going to be something that I said as well because you can kind of see toward the end of the story, it was kind of like you were thinking about what to say. You were like uh 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 bouncing around and you just want to be boom boom quick 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 and you know like you said having attention on what you want to say so that was a good uh good critique so practice 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 anybody else hey, excited Rose, I'd love the opportunity to share if possible of course awesome hey everybody my name is Jody Michael a lot of people in Herbalife called me Jodes Magodes and before Herbalife I have traveled from state to state with really great uh, a career in sales opportunities and opening businesses. So I've always had an entrepreneurial mindset. However, I found myself in Hawaii, which would have been the most beautiful place on earth, but I was extremely overweight and I've yo-yo dieted all of my life up and down, not to the tune of five or 10 pounds, but to the tune of 30 to 50 pounds at a time. So I found myself the heaviest I'd ever been. Um, and then I lost my mother and my boyfriend within six months. I ran to the gym for sanctuary and there I found my sponsor and I would have tried anything to lose weight at that point, and I did. So after a whole year on my own of losing 20 pounds only, I started sipping shakes, and eight months later, I lost another total of 40 pounds. So 60 pounds later, I look and feel the best I've ever felt in my life, and now I was afforded the opportunity through the Herbalife opportunity of business to move from Hawaii to Los Angeles to plug into trainings and really plug into the community that I learned to love online. And now I'm able to cover my own products as well as help other people like my own friends and family lose weight, feel great, and potentially earn income as well. I need to make you a spokesperson for how to do speed. That was really good. That was really good. Powerful. It was to the point. Um, I, I like that one. What's up all day? Yo, Jody, I love your story. Thank you. This is, this is what I want to hear from you. When you say you met your sponsor in the gym, I don't want to hear you say that. I want to hear you say, what was it about this woman that emotionally got you in the gym? Right. I can talk about her all day, all day. But, no, I mean, <laughs> so but, but I'm trying not to be it, too emotional, but yes. Okay. Tell but just, me what just keeping it simple. Like, Hey, i met this woman in the gym and her energy inspired me. And she told me about this way that I can lose weight. Like something like that. Cause you just say, okay. Hey, my sponsor, I don't think she signed you up in the gym right there. Right? <laughs> no. It was so what I said more, later. Yeah. It was the training of the community because after losing my mom and my boyfriend, I had nobody. And uh, you guys probably all know my sponsor is Tara Malia. And so she was my person in Hawaii. She was my person. She plugged me in. She believed in me way more than anybody else had ever believed in me. And at that point, more than I believed in myself. So that's the emotion behind that part of my story that I was trying to leave out according to Coach Crawford and not be too mushy gushy. But my sponsor, Tara Malia, has truly changed my life. And she is the reason I moved from Hawaii to Los Angeles. Yeah, but that was exactly perfect. Say exactly <laughs> that little clip without dropping her name. Just say, you know, she, she, she made me feel like I had a family and, and included. And then you're gone. I mean, that was, that was seven seconds of, of added uh, something that's going to have people kind of really like, yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. Cool. 
Thanks. Well, I'll get you with some emotion. Story, I'm going to add seven seconds of emotion. I can add some of that. Don't you even worry. Great story, Jody. <laughs> Thank you guys for letting me share. I appreciate all of you for letting me join up on your super team. <laughs> awesome. Anybody else excited to share? We'll do, we'll do a couple more. And I don't want to have to start calling people out. I'm, I'm, I'll let me go to this view. I'm going to start unmuting people in a second. Hey, what you guys, hello? Yes. Real quick. This, yes. this story is not just for the stage, you guys. This story is also like, you know, what would you say to a person that, you know, asks you about Herbalife, that wants to know your story? You know what I mean? Like, what are you going to say to convince them that Herbalife is something cool or something good for them to do? Like, just tell your story like you're getting someone to come to your club or you're getting someone to come to your workout or you're getting someone to nutrition program. From you, are, you, you got the choppiness over there. But I'm going to say this. If you guys are scared or don't want to tell us your story, how are you going to tell somebody who ain't got nothing to do with our Black Hill story? I'll go ahead and share my story. Hi, Adon. I'm Jenna, current world team member. Um, before Herbalife, I was overweight, um, front desk supervisor working for the Sheraton Hotel, trying to get into acting, which has always been my dream. Um, I had no confidence. Um, I became a recluse. I always had an outgoing property. I mean, outgoing personality. Um, I've known my sponsor for 10 years now. She's my sorority sister, uh, G. Dawson. Um, I've been seeing the Herbalife on the internet, talking to a couple of people, but it wasn't until I saw her and I was like, I was like, you don't need to lose weight though. And she was like, it's not about losing weight. It's about nutrition. I said, all right, well, sign me up. Um, first three days on there, like lost four pounds. Energy was amazing because I was an avid napper. I am now down 64 pounds. I even quit my job um, last August and moved to Atlanta to be able to grow not only as myself, but in the business um, having her by my side. And um, last month, I, I do it part-time still, but with a full-time mindset. And last month, or this month, Herb Black is going to be paying me $539. Um, and I got my first uh, supervisor in the business as well. It's changed my life. It's changed my mindset and even brought me closer to God. I love Herbal Life. That was good. Um, I'm not sure if all day um, was going to chime in because y'all know he's the he's the uh, Papa Smurf. But I, I I'll give my um, my quick uh, critique uh, on things to maybe um, think about when you're doing your story and doing that kind of story. Um, yeah, dictator of the yeah, pretty much yeah. All day is the dictator of the world. So um, one thing that I would I would say is the names. Remember we said no specifics. Think about who you're talking to. Think about as if I don't know anything about Herb Life. I don't know who Dean Dawson is. I don't know what a supervisor is. So just those small little things. Otherwise, like the transition and everything was good, but you want to make sure that you're cleaning up those areas of this, like very being like too specific because then somebody's going to be like, I don't know what she's talking about. So um, I don't know if anybody else had any uh, critique, but that's my, um, that's mine. Okay, cool. No, all right. Anybody else we'll take? Let's do two more. Summer. Yes. Hey, show me. You're driving the truck, I know. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Shobi. Been in the business for two and a half years. Um, before I started, I was fat, out of shape. Uh, still thought I was an athlete. Still thought I can run track with, with the best of them. But um, obviously, my nephews, you know, they started beating me. So uh, I knew I had to do something. I uh, seen a guy in the gym that I knew, and he was also out of shape. But then a few months later, I seen him, and he was just ripped up. So I asked him about it. Um, I met up with him. He told me about the product I lost. I ended up losing um, 16 pounds my first month. After that, um, I got into the business and been in it, but I haven't been in it with a full-time mindset. So now that I'm in it for the past few months, I've been making over about $500. And what that means to me is I can pay my car note on time. Uh, I'm no longer negative in my bank account. So, and I can do things with my kids. That's it. Cool. All day, you, go, you got anything all day? You know, I got to always go back to Papa. <laughs> 
Hey, man. Y'all got to be all disrespectful. Hey, Shelby, uh, no need to even put anything negative into your story. Like, uh, I kind of wasn't doing it with the full-time mindset. Just say, yo, I do this part-time around what you do. Like, you're driving a truck. You didn't even say, this is what I do. Okay, so you have to let people understand that you can do this around whatever your schedule is, you know, having a family, having kids, you know, and, and that $500, yeah, $500 saves most families if they could have an extra $500. So definitely be proud of that. And, uh, and But other than that, good story. There we go. All right, let's do one more because I got a little bit of information to share with you all. So one more. Who was that? Brandon. Man, your voice is just like your name, real gentle. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. All right, you guys. My name is Brandon Gentle. I've been in this business for a year and six months now. Uh, before Herbalife, I was in the gym every night, um, but eating bad. And that's why I met Kenny and Sarah. And they taught me about Herbalife, and they taught me about the business, too. And so, you know, I was kind of interested in that. So I went to my first STS back in September and I was just, I was inspired. I was amazed by all the stories and all of the income that, you know, the president's team members, the get team members and the mill team members had, had said. And so I got started on my plan. I dropped 10 pounds and I gained 13 pounds of lean muscle. I feel amazing. And two reasons why I joined Herbalife is because number one, because of the family atmosphere, um, I feel like everyone, you guys, I feel like all of you are my brothers and sisters. Like I really do. Like, and I love all you guys. So that was the first reason. And then the second reason is I was never used to, you know, the whole nine to five thing, like clocking in for work when you have to get up and you have to, you know what I mean? Go and work for somebody else. And you're not even getting paid for what you're actually doing. So, um, I did it for, for the income as well. Cause you get to make however much as you want. And so, uh, yeah, that's a little bit about my story. Yo, Brandon. Yeah, um, what's up? Hey, hey, way to share, man. Look, a couple things. Just cut it out. Like, like Steve was talking about the acronyms and everything, the SDSs and everything. That stuff don't even matter. What matters in your story is the is your results that you got, and then your two reasons that you said that was that was beautiful. Your two reasons why you joined. You know what I'm saying, Herbalife. Like, that was perfect. So that's all you need to give somebody is your result and your two reasons why you decided to join. Because that's, that's the power in your story right there. That's going to make somebody say, you know what? I feel like that, too. I want that, too. But good stuff sharing, man. Brandon, your package story is exactly what you share after the workout. The quick one. Like, the real quick one? Yeah. That's your story. So if you say just that, like, that's perfect. Yeah, I thought like he was trying to serenade me one time. Like I, I appreciate you guys so much. Like say the one you say after the workout, and that's, you know, that's it. Thirty seconds, quick. Good job. Thank you. Know your audience. That's what we're gonna say. Know your audience. All right, guys. So, um, what we're gonna do is what we what we need everybody to do is just practice your package story. Um, I'm gonna go back to one thing that all day said when he was telling you guys why we want to do this. And a lot of times people make it emotionally about them. A lot of times, a lot of us in this company, because you, I mean, we just had supervisors. Some of us did it by ourselves and some of us did it with just maybe one or two people. And we don't know the emotional connectivity of having a team and the reason why um, we want to actually make it not about us is because what we, we covered it at our, this past weekend's success training seminar and it's making your position attractive and finding your replacement and the thing is it's not about us you know we are sponsored in the business we do great things but it's not about you when we when you get on the stage it's really about finding somebody else to take your place because like i was telling my team last night on our team call you'll never be successful in herbal life, if you're only thinking about your own achievements, how do you get somewhere in herbal life by somebody else in your downline in your lineage changing pins? Super tells you all the time he made president's team, but who like what happened underneath him? New get team, new get team, new get team, new mill team. Other people changing their lives, people replacing him. And what we want to make is what we do right now. And this is what I told my team last night. You have to make where you're at right now the most attractive supervisor, 
second cut after supervisor, world team member, or whatever position that you're in, you have to make that position the most attractive position in the world. Because if you don't like the position that you're in and you're just so anxious to move to the next position, guess what? You're not going to even attract a world team member or a supervisor. You're not going to attract that because nobody really, you're not making that position look attractive. And the, the, um, kind of, I guess the analogy that they use was uh, with the horse, like we always say, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it a drink. And then this is the first time I heard it. Apparently people heard it before, but it's like our job is to not to make the horse drink, but to make the horse thirsty. And that's what it is by making your position attractive is making people want to drink making people want to actually dive into the opportunity, not you pushing them into the opportunity. Because I'll tell you guys this, the business is, is simple. You can go as fast as you want to go or you can take your time doing whatever you want to do. You know, when I first came into this company, I decided three weeks, 21 days to supervisor, uh, you know, three months to world team, eight months to first cut global expansion team. Because it was something about you know, I wanted to dive in. Super never made me do anything. And I guarantee you, every single one of his front line can tell you, Super never made us do anything. He didn't tell me to leave this car today. He gave us the options. People have the option to step up. You want, that's all our job is. When you get a 10Y0 number, your job is to give somebody options. You don't make anybody do anything because when the second that you start to make people do things, that's when you start to lose people. You start to lose control of your team because you become a dictator. You have to just keep getting more. And I always tell, you know, anybody who, who wants to know, hey, listen, give me some nuggets on how to become successful. How did you make it to wherever you made it to? How did you make the money that you made last month? You want to know what it is? This is as simple as it gets. I got a great result. I don't know if y'all believe me or not. Y'all see my Instagram. I got a pretty good result. Get other people results and show people the opportunity. That's it. Repeat. Get a good result. And you want to always be chasing a new result. And you want to always be getting people results. And you want to continuously bring people to the opportunity. Because if you're banking on just the fact that you have one person, you know, coming up and showing up, that, if that one person leaves, guess what? Now you have nobody. You know how many zeros that, you know, Super probably has in his organization? I know he has to have a lot because I got a lot. But there's strength in numbers. So the more people that you are, are sponsoring into the business, frontline the world is what they have to tell us. The more people you're giving the chance to see the opportunity, the more that somebody else is going to get their own vision. Stop making people have your vision. Let somebody else get their own. My vision is completely different from, from Terrence's and, and, and all days and, and, and supers. We all have different vision, but he allowed me to show up and find what I felt like would be my greatest self. And, you know, I'll, I'll tell you guys a, a crazy situation because you, you all probably never hear from me very much as far as speaking and, and goes. You probably don't know much about me. But there was one month in the business that I did 26,000 volume points. And it was like well, my second cut of, of Global Expansion Team. And I was feeling very, very cocky about that. And um, this is why we have such a great leader in Super Mario. They were on uh, this very, very same uh, vacation that they're on right now. And he was, you know, trying to tell me I didn't need to wear a certain piece of clothing that I was wearing or something like something about what I had on. And, you know, me being the person that I was, I was like, you know what? It's, this is I, I did, you know. 30,000 of your volume points for you to get to the press team. You need me. Uh, you know, you can't tell me what to do. And I was, and I was really being a stickler, like saying, you know what? I don't need to listen to him. And you know what? I was like, you know what? Super. I'll, I'll leave the business right now. You lose 50,000 right now. Cause I'm about to leave. Cause you, you're trying to tell me what to do. And you know what he said? All right. I'll find somebody to replace you. And that was the craziest thing to me because I wasn't really trying to leave. I was, you know, doing the psychology, reverse psychology, trying to play some mind tricks on him to, to make him apologize. And you know what he said? He's like, oh, all right, so, so what? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll always, people, there's somebody out there that's just as hungry as you. So somebody else will come in and appreciate the opportunity. And from then on, I, I knew what, it, what Khalil Blakey always says 
yeah, Super ain't never going to eat. Yeah, it's like, oh, you, yeah, he's never apologized. But uh, as far as that goes, guys, like Khalil Black, he would tell you, you got to have posture about your business. Don't beg anybody to do anything. You, I mean, you can't beg your way to press team. I ain't never seen nobody beg their way to press team. You have to just give people the opportunity and have people that come together and be inspired and leading from the front. Being a high contribution. Whenever somebody gives you the opportunity to speak on a call, don't speak because you're, you, you want to hear your voice. Speak because you want to set the foundation for your team to think it's okay for them to speak on a call. Or whenever you have your own team call, now all of a sudden you have people who are interactive. I'll tell you guys, it's the worst thing in the world to have an organization of people who don't want to talk to each other or don't feel like they have the, the sense of – some people don't even know. Some people have no idea that they have the, uh, they have the right to, to, to talk. They have no idea. So whose job is it? It's your job as a leader to get on a call and let people know it's okay. Y'all want to know how excited I got when I got, I got, you know, three people speaking on stage this month at different STSs? I didn't have to make them do it neither. They see me in action. They see me in contribution. They see me on stages and getting invited to do guest speaking at different events. But guess what? If your team don't never, ever see you doing anything, how will they ever know to do it? You know what they tell us? Be the distributor that you want your team to be. That's not just blowing smoke. Your people are going to do exactly what you do. I've been on both ends. 2015, I had people do exactly what I was doing. Not very much. And then when I got back into action, all of a sudden, organization doubles. Organization triples. People are starting to, you know, hit, hit different pin changes. So you have to think about it not as in a selfish act of why am I doing this, but who am I doing it for? If you don't have no team members... If you don't have any people on the call, you're setting yourself up to already be comfortable to do it whenever you do. So if you're ever in anywhere at a success training seminar on a call and somebody gives you the opportunity to speak, take the advantage of that because you want your people to see that. So that was the whole point of what, re what really All Day was telling you about this is this is. We truthfully have to realize it's not about us. We're in the business of finding our replacements. I'm looking for somebody to take. I don't want this 2.5 get team pin no more, but I'm looking for somebody who else who wants it. Finding your replacement. So I'm not sure if anybody, uh, if All Day or Hero, ha, <laughs> Hero. Uh, <laughs> <I did. laughs> No, you say it yourself. I never say it again. And it's not recorded. Hey. Uh, it is recorded. Oh, it's recorded. It oh. I'm going to edit that. Y'all know I'm good with that stuff. Anybody else? Terrence Harkins, Terrence Harkins, you or all day I want to share anything before we get off? Um, you pretty much covered everything. Uh, just the reason that we were doing these stories, the reason why I super wanted us to go over it also was not just because everybody's going to get on stage and, you know, coming up, everybody will, but also, you know, building that story and, and making that story good and packaged will help you get more clients, which is, which in turn will help you change your life. But also, it's about mastering the basics, all right? Like, Part of, you know, like Steven was talking about, you know, dropping nuggets and feeling like you got to do this and do that. It's that's getting away from what built this business. That's getting away from the whole core of this business, which is fun, simple, magical. All right. So it's all about the basics. Use where it talk. This is the talk section. All right. But you're just talking about how you use and you wear. That's it. So master this section, the talk section, and it's going to make everything better. I don't know. I'm sure all day you got something. I'm sure you got something. I do got a little something, guys. All right, so we, we're, we're in going into the second week, the second full week in May, I mean, excuse me, in March, and let's just remember that we got stuff that we're qualifying for. Miami is still up and open and available for everybody on this call to qualify for. It's been done. Do 20,000 volume points. Accumulate it. 
We also got April ODW next week, all the qualifications, 20,000 accumulated volume points for bronze, 25,000 for silver, 30,000 for gold, and 35,000 for platinum. Herbalife doubled you up in January. So calculate that, calculate that for your people so you know how close they are. And if you have any downline, frontline active supervisor, then they, Herbalife also said, shoot it, I'm gonna give you guys another 2,500 volume points towards those qualifications. So a lot of people who might be on that brink and might be on that bubble, definitely check your, your, your biz works and check it for your downline because a lot of you guys are probably gonna qualify on some of these VIP, the, the experience, at least out here in LA, it's gonna be stupid, dope, and crazy Disneyland parties, uh, dinners that are you know fully paid for. It's gonna be really phenomenal. So make sure we know what we're qualifying for. There's always a qualification, and just get into the habit of just you know knocking out that 5K, and and more than likely you're gonna qualify for most things. So without further ado, if you guys have any questions or any any concerns, all questions are good questions. Uh, feel free to unmute yourself and, and chime in. Again, you all have permission to speak. Valuable. What did I miss? You missed it all, dude. I know that voice. Did you missed that flight. Oh, we ain't missing no flights. What up, everybody? You all, you know, you almost kicked me off the call, right? By you logging in. And yet, there you are with Super Mario under your name. Because I'm, I'm trick, I'm tricky like that. What you got to say, man? How you doing? Ah, uh, man, yo, the resort's crazy, you guys. I'm excited. It's going down. Honors is crazy. It's always good to see everybody worldwide. You guys' room is fantastic. It's like a big dope studio. Uh, but you know, it's just it's just regular stuff. And then you know, we still got to work. Uh, a lot of work to do, a lot of studying, a lot of, you know, bringing back this high-level conversation uh, to the family, like, you know, always, uh, you know, and it's just going to be a good time out here, and, you know, we back to work on Monday, uh, same as usual. Uh, it's nonstop. We got cuts to get. Shout-out to everybody in cuts right now. Uh, Shout-out to everybody who led the call. I just want to say big salute uh, to the leadership just stepping in, like, you know, no problem contributing, and that is what it is. All questions are good questions. Not man, they know everything, dog. You know that. Hey, Super. You muted yourself. They did step up. They allowed everybody to um, open the lines to share their stories. And what you missed were a lot of really good stories and some really good feedback from your tab team. And they just kind of helped us kind of tweak a few things as to what we're telling people out in the world and not just prepare for the stage. Cause it's really not all about us. And so maybe my question is like, when we're out in the world, how do we know which parts of our stories should be more emotional? And which parts of our story should be factual? My, my story, story is pretty factual, but y'all know I can get real emotional. So. You, <laughs> it was a great never, call, and I'm really glad that you look, jumped in. Really look, you should emotional never get emotional. Like, you should never get emotional like in real life, like when you first meet somebody, because they're going to be like, what? Like, huh? Like, <laughs> okay, I just want to know about the button. Keep right. on going. Look, I lost some weight. I'm making some money. That's it. And, and we, even when you're on stage, it should be way, way less emotional and just contextual like your story every you got to think about the intention when you're telling your story when you're on stage at an HOM at any part of the HOM whether it's uh when everybody's crossing the stage or as you get a tab team member your job is to you know tell your quick story and talk about the you know quick success like really really quickly and give a lot of people a chance to digest like your points without having to digest a whole lot of other stuff right it's like our products Great, high quality, no filler. Just do it, right? Shoot. Yeah. And when you're in person, you just got to tell your story based on what per the person is about to hear, you know, if you're talking about weight loss or, or um, like, income. But you don't got to get, like, all emotional. And I know it may be hard to control emotions for some people when they tell certain parts of their story. But that part you might not even need to tell unless it's going to directly relate to somebody in that exact same situation. And you, that's going to pull them out of the situation or give them uh, – 
the the mindset or the possibility that there's something that will work for them in there but you definitely want to avoid the tears um and and, and the extreme emotion and just get to the facts and the basis. Same when you're training. Sometimes your job is just to train and give information and not be emotional, not be deep, and not go, you know, long-winded into a tangent and just say, I'm going to come and talk about, you know, the facts of how to use Word Talk or how I, you know, get clients or how I, you know, retain people. Like retaining, you can't retain somebody by loving on them. You retain them by proper follow-up and helping them reach their goals. Like that's a better answer that more people can use than, you know, these, these vague abstract answers. Does that make sense? It really does because that's, that's what really helps me now moving up the marketing plan just to really get back to basics. It really does help. So again, your, your leadership really was on point with all of us, your stories, just helping us give that proper feedback. So thank you for that feedback. Cause that does help. I worked hard on keeping it short and sweet and factual and I was asked to add a little bit of emotion. So that was, that was a good switch for me. So thank you for uh, jumping on in. Your leadership did a great job. Yeah. Thanks. Hello. 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 Yes. Can y'all hear me? Who is this? Sure. We can hear you, whoever that is. Okay. All right. Um, this is Monty Floyd in Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, first of all, thank you all for the. Uh, Monty, hey! Thank you all for the uh, communication, man. Excellent. Um, I needed that. Uh, or what have you. Um, what I want to know really quick is, so 30-second story, good. How do you guys, as I'm, my goal is to duplicate what you're doing out there, how do you guys segue from the end of the camp, the end of fit camp, to your 30-second stories? Okay, I'll go. Um, it's not really a segue into 30-second stories. It's just quick health result stories. Um, and okay. then the other part of the second is really just talking about the nutrition to everybody. And then it's like, yo, I got these crazy, amazing results. Uh, and then you like pass it to some other people with like results, like really, really fast. Um, so it doesn't have to necessarily be 30 seconds. You're thinking about either the quick, Hey, you guys, four months in down four pounds or something barely slightly longer in terms of, yo, I, yo, man, I used to be tired, drink a lot of coffee. Um, slept all day and then now i uh, started my nutrition plan lost some weight have crazy amount of energy no naps during the day uh, i love tea i love my life etc something like that so you're still on some you know 20, 15 20 seconds uh, just because your intention is just to share with health results compared to uh save the world with this one powerful message after fit camp you know about how many do you all do um, it just kind of depends on how late everything's been going, how long the camp is, how many new people that we have. Uh, it kind of depends. But we probably we kind of get a handful, maybe uh, six, seven, eight, nine ish, about. Okay. But I mean, like whatever. If it's just you and a couple coaches and clients, just get the people that, that are your clients to tell you know their health results. Just ask them if they could you know prior say, hey, can you share your results at the end? Uh, and I'll just call on you. And then the coaches just make sure that they share. These questions, it don't matter. If you want to have everybody share, just do that. Like, don't – that's thinking too much about what has to be done. We know what has to be done. How you do it and who you choose is irrelevant. It's just going to be – like, just go with your flow. Just do it. Right. Think less, you know? Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, y'all. Appreciate everybody out there. Like I said, great communication. Monty Floyd, let's get it, dog. Anybody else with any questions, comments, or concerns before we get on out of here and get ready for the for the next call? Yo. Yo. It's Kenny. Kenny. No nicknames. Uh, so what I want to say was really quick, you guys did really good on saying your stories. Uh, even though, you know, some things there's, there's critique, but the best thing is just sharing it with people. You know, even if you say anything, it doesn't really matter as long as you share it with somebody. If you keep it in, it's not going to get you any clients or members. So go out there and practice every single day. Sometimes you're going to mess up, but it's better than not messing up because you didn't do it. Just do it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. And that's all I have to say. So you guys did great. Thank you, Kenneth.
Anybody else with anything uh, before we go? Right here, whoop. Uh, did you say whoop? Yep. Okay, all right. Hey. Uh, Sue, uh, or anybody else, can you guys give me some feedback on, on how I was on stage this weekend? Just, just at all? At all? We'll do it offline, bro. Not the time. All right. I think he just wanted people, for other people to hear how good he was. I think that's what that was. <laughs> that's what I was talking about. You brought that yeah. thing, bro. You brought the crap out of your ear. And then look what happens. Look what happens. <laughs> nah, man. It's I, just, I just want to know. But I guess you guys can tell me later. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else anything about the call today? All right. questions are good questions. Uh, hey, uh, it was good. We could tell you were nervous at the beginning, but don't trip because I'm pretty much the exact same way till I warm up. And, you know, you didn't stutter as soon as you, like, warm, you know, warmed up. Uh, I would just say if you're ever in a retail recruiting section for everybody, literally talk about how you retail and recruit. So say I do face-to-face -face in the gym and then say I invite people to the fit camp and then say I give them a shake and I set up a wellness evaluation. Like, these are the points that people need to know is going on because they have something that they can really grab onto and say, okay, I know to invite people from the gym. I know to invite people from wherever I'm out, the job, et cetera, friends and family. And then I bring them to the fit camp or I do the wellness evaluation, set them up really powerfully, get them follow up, turn them into members, show them how to do the same thing. Like that's the only thing ever that we want to hear ever in any retail recruiting level 10 coaching section if there's a panel or we do anything, it's like those aspects of it. The rah-rah is very, very good, and it's going to get people tight and hype and everything, and excitement and inspiration does a whole lot. But then there's that little, those little moments where we can be really, really good with the information, right? And, it, and, and they'll tell us it's 80% inspiration, 20% info. Sometimes our job is to be the info person. In, in STS or, you know, at a Saturday school or, or something like that. And in some, and we got to take that job, you know, seriously as, as well. So we want to make sure that we actually give people tangible things to walk away with and action steps or ideas on how they can incorporate what you do into what they do uh, or just see it for the new person. A new person can't, you know, do anything if we don't teach them. Makes sense. But, yeah, it was turned up, though. You know, was, the, the, the crowd loved it. You done? Great. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Real quick, when you get on stage, don't talk to the front of the room, right? Real talk, we don't care. We don't care. Talk to the back of the room. Hit the person in the back of the room. Do not try to impress us sitting in the front. It's not going to do anything for you. We did clear. We did say after the call, but you know, the twins have their own thing going on sometimes. No, it's something. It was a great moments for everybody to hear everything, though, too. So, uh, okay. Oh, okay, all right. Like for me, uh, in terms of like speaking and teaching you guys, as you know, we did a, do a lot of these. We do these zooms after the press team call. I love being able to give everyone the same conversation at the same time. Um, it, it's just like if you got teenage kids and you have, you know, a five-year-old or a four-year-old, that five-year-old, four-year-old is going to hear all this wisdom that dad's teaching them, um, even though they may not have to apply it yet, but dad's always empowering them with a high-level conversation that they get to grow into. Just like when you got babies, you don't Google Gaga them. You talk to them straight up so that they're learning the language properly. Um, and that's why the tab is like, yeah, most of the time it's like, boom, there's nothing that they, that they hear. Uh, you know, mill team, get team, that the brand new supervisor, shout out to all the brand new supervisors, especially if it's your first time online right now, that they won't be able to hear and, and, and be able to have in their pocket and grow into this information and grow into this um, perspective as they, you know, move up the marketing plan and we'll get these same opportunities too. But they're like, man, I remember Soup said that. Let me not do it because it'll be on me, right? So it's always really good to get everybody as much uh, of this equal conversation all oh, questions, a good question. I know we got a couple seconds, really, but.
Boom. All right, cool. So that's cool. Um, all the stuff like that, what I always say is you can, if you have anything, any kind of comments or remarks or anything pertaining to how the call was or anything that you took a, took away or you think about a question later on, post it in Super Team. You, uh, somebody will answer, if you, especially if you tag people. So um, if you want to do that, we can do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this young unmute. Everybody like hey! 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 